That's right, it is New York Toy Fair this week, and the LEGO Group has unveiled numerous new sets including Solo, DC, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. My name is Wade, and this is part one of their new releases. Let's check them out. Starting off with Solo, we have the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. I think it is a perfect troop builder. This is actually something worth troop building. It has an Imperial Officer, two new Stormtrooper designs, and an Imperial Navy Commander. Perfect for building your own empire. The new Han Solo's land speeder looks very nice as well. I'm loving the navy blue color scheme. I think the spring-loaded shooters are integrated very well. I love the asymmetry to it with the curved ends on the right side while the other side is flat with very nice grabling. This to me looks like a Star Wars vehicle. The minifigures included are just as excellent with Han Solo rocking the white vest, the new Corellian hound, he's adorable, and Kira with the new hairpiece. Here is Moloch's land speeder, it has another interesting design, it has a nice chunky blockiness to it, but at the same time there is some nice curvature. I do prefer Han Solo's land speeder more due to looks, but the inclusion of the stud shooter cannon is integrated very well and it does not detract from the look at all. I think Moloch looks very nice, he has a unique head sculpt. Rebel I do not like as much, but his black whip I think is the coolest accessory in the set. And we have two Corellian Hounds. Here we have the beautiful TIE Fighter. Ah, I'm so glad this thing is back because I missed this back in 2012. So sad. But anyways, here it is. It looks amazing as ever. I think I'm definitely going to pick this one up. The minifigures included, they're actually very cool. I love the Bin Bin Stormtrooper. Such great printing. The disguises that Han Solo and Tobias have, they also look good. Love the cape that he has. And of course, you have to have the TIE Pilot. And finishing off, we have the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. In case you were wondering, yes, it does include the all too important coffee maker in the cockpit. I personally believe this is one of the weirder Millennium Falcons made by LEGO. It's just very odd. There are various gaps throughout the model. It detracts from the look for sure. It seems incomplete. Look at the underside. It is just super ugly and it has a really low profile, and I'd say it does not capture the sleekness that the movie model has. But, the minifigures are amazing. Just look at Han Solo. Lego captured him so well. He looks amazing. The new character Kira also looks fantastic with that printed torso piece. I'm loving it. The new hair piece as well. Lando. Oh my gosh, just fantastic. Brilliant minifigure. Well done, Lego. The Kessel Run Droid is my favorite of the bunch. Just look at the printing on him. He's gorgeous. Then we have Chewbacca, who I think is the weakest of the new figures due to his sculpt. Then we have three unnamed mystery sets that are likely to be released later this year. Moving on to Jurassic World, we have some new junior sets with an awesome Pteranodon with the new color scheme. He looks fantastic, I love him. Helicopter is silly, but the minifigures are cool. We now have a new raptor in green. That's equally as awesome, I love that. Rest of it's okay. And then we have a T-Rex breakout set. Gee, I wonder how the T-Rex broke out in the first place. All I see is one wall. <laughs> That's a little silly that they couldn't enclose him, but it is a cheap way to get a T-Rex, so no complaints from me. I just learned that Tyrannosaurus have a diet consisting of hot dogs. Anyways, moving on to the more serious sets, we have another Pteranodon, equally as fantastic, and a really nice Jeep. I really like that. That's super cool, and it has the new net. Stick a Moloch breakout. This is just an awesome set. Well done, Lego. 10 out of 10 for me. I love the minifigures included, especially that one's beanie he has on. There's great pieces in this and great printed elements. Just fantastic, and the dinosaur itself, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that again, looks fantastic. Blue's Helicopter Pursuit, to me this is just another helicopter LEGO has made. There are so many of them out there, they're just all the same to me. The stud shooter just looks so ugly on the side of it. But Blue the Raptor itself looks great, and the six-wheeled ATV is probably my favorite thing in this set. Carnotaurus Dryosphere Escape, wow. Just looks really nice. The Carnotaurus looks fantastic. Love the dark brown on him. The truck looks nice as well with the stud shooter integrated well on top. 
The nest of eggs in the corner of the gyrosphere launcher, they look great. I love the foliage and the scenery all around it. This is just a well put together set. Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate. Such a fancy building. I love the look of that. And the Indoraptor is quite fancy itself. That reminds me of the old theme Dino Attack from back in 2005, so that was ages ago. But it looks very similar to the dinosaur designs from then. The skull of the Triceratops looks amazing. I want to learn how to build that. The dark green motorcycle is cool. And then we have blue and then some various minifigures. Moving on to DC for our last theme in this video, we have a new Harley Quinn and Batman Mighty Micro. The minifigures in this look fantastic, and I love the hammer that she has in then Batman's little grappling hook. Then we have a Nightwing vs Joker. What is not to love with this set? Just look at their facial expressions. They look great. The printing on them is fantastic. Even the vehicles look good. I love Joker's ice cream truck. It even has storage in the back of it where you can put his little popsicle. I think this is my favorite one that they have released. Then we have Supergirl vs Brainiac. I love Brainiac, that is just super cool. I love his vehicle, that's just great. I also like the colors for Supergirls and her facial expression is great as well. And I'm not too sure why she has a magnifying glass, but it's interesting. I never thought we'd see the day of Lobo getting his own Lego minifigure, but that day has come and it is awesome. Well done, Lego. His hoverbike looks a little out of proportion, but it does look nice. I will give them that. Then the new Crypto, he looks awesome as well. Then we have our generic Superman, but the translucent green extra accessories that we have, that's a huge plus. I'm liking that. Then here's the Lex Luthor mech takedown. Wow. Talk about a major upgrade when you compare this one from the one back in 2012. This one is so much better, and even then, that one was great. But we have some new minifigures coming up. All of them look great. I'm loving Lex Luthor, and all the accessories we have is great. Just a well put together set. Solid one. Good job, Lego. Then finally, we have the Speed Force Freeze Pursuit. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm loving Flash and Reverse Flash and Cyborg. Even Cyborg's helicopter vehicle that he has. It looks super different than the other ones that we have received. That one has a low profile, seems very narrow. I'm liking this look a lot better than a regular Lego helicopter. Killer Frost is an amazing looking new minifigure. I'm loving the white hair piece. Her vehicle is a little bit lacking, but other than that, I think this is a solid set, once again. Then there is also three mystery sets, ones that are actually named. The one that catches my attention is the App Control Batmobile. I cannot wait for that to come out. That'll be fun. So LEGO is delivering strong competition to the game, bringing some new fantastic sets that I think are unbeatable. Remember this video is part one of two, there are so much more releases for Star Wars and Marvel, stay tuned for those ones to come out soon, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and see you guys later.